Hello there, Pablo Gunner here to do a recap and review for you about The Bad Batch, Season 3, Episodes 1 through 4. Bad Batch, it's the final season, it is the third season. The first episode, what is the new status quo? For Omega, it is that she is now a prisoner slash helper of Nalase at the secret experimental hidden base of Hemlocks, this scientist of the Empire that's doing work for the Emperor, of course, about cloning. And there she finds Crosshair. It's so great the way that they do this. It's so well done because there's this foreshadowing. There's this beast that she feeds. He's not eating. She's nice. It gets hurt. She heals it. Then they decide to kill it off because they're like, oh, you made it too docile. So it's just going to die. So we're just going to kill it. So she releases it and you can hear it just howling for her. But she will not give up on that and she will not give up on Crosshair. No matter how much Crosshair says, leave me be, leave me alone. You're going to get escape. Do it on your own. Don't include me. I've tried. Leave me alone. Go away. That's it. Episode dos. We have the Bad Batch, which is actually only the Rambo guy and Wrecker. And I'm like, Where, where's the other guy? Obviously, we know Tech is dead from the previous season. The Bad Batch, they are looking for any information on where to locate and find Omega. That's their number one mission. And they do this thing for some syndicate and then they go to this planet where it's an old secret hidden base of Hemlocks. And there, there are some clones, but they're young. They're boys, right? They're like teenage, I, would, I don't even know if they're teenage boys quite. And they give them some information and they help them get through some tight situations. It's pretty ta It's pretty crazy, it's pretty intense, it's pretty wild. We have that, they get their information, it leads them there. The third episode, we have Omega makes her break for it. She has to, right? Nala says like, hey, you have to make a break for it and go now because if they find out that you have, they're, they're like this M count, you know it's midichlorians. Connect the dots, she has midichlorians, she has the force, they're pretty much saying she has the force, we don't, she's never really used it, but she has midichlorian count. We don't know how much. Apparently it's enough. She will not give up on Crosshair. She goes to get Crosshair. They escape. The Beast Batcher that she named helps them. And it's just crazy and intense and it's, it's, it's nuts. So for the fourth episode, numero cuatro, we have them, they crash land and they're in this shady town and they, they're trying to, to leave, right? They can't leave. They're trying to find ways to leave. Let's get credits so we can buy a ticket. No, let's kill all these people. And so it kind of goes back and forth of them going, hey, let's do things your way or let's do things your way. There's times where they have to do something this person's way and then sometimes they have to do it this person's way. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. And you see how it does and how it doesn't. And they make their escape and they are reunited with their brothers, with their family and it's tense and it's crazy, and it's great. And it's crazy because this could have been done over the stretch of the entire season, but it's been all speed, no breaks, nonstop, it's been crazy. The first four, fun, absolutely phenomenal, super intense. I don't know where they're gonna go now because I thought this was gonna be the whole season. So we'll see, because it's gonna be crazy. I love it. If you got teenage boys, especially, I think they'll totally be into it but probably even younger. I, I think anybody could really be into this. I don't think my girls are gonna be hugely into it, but they might a little bit, they, they, you know, they're kinda, they'll watch it if I put it on, but they're not like hardcore into it. I'm hardcore into it. So if you're into Clone Wars and you're into Bad Batch, this is easily by far the best we've gotten. So definitely a strong must see. Talk nerdy to me. And make sure you get some of our sweet Star Wars merch because that's what we're going to be discounting for the month of March as we have them on sale with free shipping. It's 15 bucks most of this stuff. It says talk nerdy to me. It's usually, and it's a shirt, it's usually 15 bucks or 20 bucks tops for the shirts at least. There's the shorts, there's socks, there's all kinds of stuff. There's stuff even better than this right here so definitely check it out and because five percent of any profit that we make will be going to the charity of the month which is going to be the center for reproductive rights as it is women's month for march so help us help them 